Welcome back to Souvenir Everything, guys. Today I'm testing out three different types of dipping butter to find out which one is best for our steak. Check it out. We all know that steak and butter is the perfect marriage. Finishing off a steak with butter is absolutely perfect. You can even save a steak that was cooked in the microwave with butter. And if you ever have a steak that is really bad, add some butter on it and I can guarantee you it will be a lot better. But today we're doing something different to see if we can take it to the next level. We're gonna make three different types of dipping butter to find out which one we like best. So let's do it. And to start, I have these two beautiful steaks. These are one and a half inches thick ribeye. And if you are wondering about the grade, it is choice. However, even though it's choice, the intramuscular fat is phenomenal. And something you always want to look for when you're buying your steaks. I season them well with salt, freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. It is important to season both sides. Now all there's left to do is to bag it up and it's ready for sous vide. Now for our dipping butter, remember exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below. I call this one the Pinterest butter, as it is the most popular one in Pinterest. I started off with one stick of room temperature salted butter, followed by some minced shallots, green chives, minced garlic, prepared horseradish, Dijon mustard, thyme, cayenne pepper, freshly ground black pepper, and to finish it off, some table salt. Now all there's left to do is mix it well and our Pinterest butter is done. Our second dipping butter is called the cowboy butter. And remember, exact amount and ingredients is always in the description down below. I started off with one stick of salted butter, which was at room temperature, followed by lemon zest. Then I threw in lemon juice, minced garlic, Dijon mustard, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, freeze-dried parsley, fresh chives, a little bit of fresh thyme, red chili flakes, a tiny bit of table salt, finish it off with freshly ground black pepper, mix it well and your cowboy butter is done. Third one, it involves whiskey. I started off with one stick of room temperature butter, followed by shallots, freshly chopped cilantro, my favorite hot sauce, which is a Brazilian hot sauce. Then I threw in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, freshly ground black pepper, and finish it off with our whiskey. And for today, I'm using Maker's Mark. Now all there's left to do is mix it well, and our whiskey butter is done. Now that we have our dipping butters ready, I am cooking these beautiful steaks at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. We got our beautiful butters ready. The steaks were cooked at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. Enough talking, let's take them out. Let's do it. Wow, they smell absolutely fantastic. And like always, I gotta pat it dry so that we can get a wonderful sear. Today, I'm gonna be using some charcoal with the slow and sear. But I know, they don't look that good right now. But watch this. Are you ready, Mama? Uh, yes. <laughs> Mama is hungry. He's always, I'm always hungry. hungry. Always <laughs> hungry. So we have three different kinds. I want to know which one you like best. This one here. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tell you what it is, Mama. We got a uh, beautiful, the most popular dipping butter of Pinterest. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. This one is a cowboy butter, Mama. Cowboy butter. <laughs> cowboy butter, man. You have to be good, right? If it's a cowboy butter. And then the last one is a little bit whiskey. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm I'm curious to find whiskey yeah. butter. Mama, I don't want to hear us talking too much. I don't want to see us trying. Right, let's go for this one right here. Give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. I like that. Hmm. That's nice. Hold on a second. <laughs> that gives a nice flavor. You guys know how we usually feel about steak on the butter, but this is good. This is good. Pinterest got something going over here. This is oh. very tasty. Oh, I'm talking with my mouth. <laughs> Man, mm. that's good. It has like a lot of herbs into it. Buttery. Very buttery. And a nice flavor. 
Very nice. Very cool. All right. I'm, now I'm excited. Okay. Are you ready for the cowboy, Mama? Mm. All right. Mm. Let's go for it and dip that cowboy in there. Oh, dipping, 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 dipping. Go for it, Mama. Cowboy butter, everybody. Wow. Completely different. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> that is like very. Ooh, that is nice. A little acidic. Mm -hmm. You feel that acidic? It starts a little acidic. Mm -hmm. There's something a little fresh about it too. Oh, that is fantastic. It has a lot of different ingredients. You guys saw everything that I put it on the ingredients. I'm going to put it in the description down below. It was so many ingredients that I don't even remember, my mom. <laughs> but it's good. It's, it's really, really good. good. Right? Wow. This is this one's going to be tough. I need to go for seconds here, Mama. Let me, I was too surprised to notice the flavor. So let me do that again. That is such a nice flavor. No wonder why it's the cowboy. Mm. <laughs> no wonder why they call it the cowboy. Wow. That's nice. A lot of spices and herbs in there. It's hard to tell apart. Yeah. But I feel like it's less buttery than that one. Mm. That one, it really tastes a lot of butter. This one has a nice flavor to it. It's like a nice flavor overall, but not so much butterness. No. You agree? Mm -hmm. I agree with Mama 100%. Yep. All right. Are you ready for the last one, Mama? The last one should have some whiskey on it. Oh, whiskey. All right, let's dip in. Dip, 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 dip. Go for it, Mama. Oh, you got the cap, a nice tender steak. Mm -hmm. That's falling apart. Last one, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not my favorite, Mama. <laughs> no, not my favorite this one's not my favorite, everybody. Oh. I'm I'm sorry, I don't like that one. That one is fire from <laughs> That one's not that good. No, no, no. <laughs> not that good whatsoever. I mean I got a hint of the whiskey. Yeah. But uh not But it's good. like it's like table cream or something. It feels like yeah. a table cream kind of texture and flavor. I do not enjoy that one whatsoever. You? Mm, no. No. All right. So we're between these two here, Mama. Now wow. we have to describe to the audience. I, which I'm one... not in between them at all. Oh no! No. Which one is the best one? Cowboy. For you? Cowboys. Cow... Cowboys. Fun. The cowboy is so flavorful and nice. Let's try that cowboy one more time. Let's see. Let me go back to this one just to make sure. That cowboy is so nice, everybody. Wow. That cowboy mm. is delicious. Let me tell you. No, yeah, cowboy is the winner for sure. Cowboy? Cowboy. Hmm. Before I give my point of verdict, let's try the last one. That one is so good. That though. one is so good. But you know what? I think that one will be really good with bread. With bread. This one is perfect with bread. This one here is incredible. The cowboy steak is the best one, everybody. We definitely recommend it 110%. You agree, Mama? 100, 210%. <laughs> I agree. That's right. Guys. The cowboy is so flavorful. There's so many spices in there with, together with yeah, some like cayenne, mustard here or Dijon mustard. Oh. You know, it's fantastic. Mm. It is extremely flavorful. Not too buttery. It's just like buttery enough. Mm -hmm. And you actually feel like a little extra flavor on the steak. The cowboy feels like the butter is just there to give a little bit more consistency. Rather than just being a you know watery dipping sauce, I agree. Gives, yeah, it's, it gives it gives an extra. It's not a dipping sauce. It's like a flavorful. It's like a flavor but thing. I agree a hundred and ten percent with my mom. This one is kind of just like a little flavor. Maybe you're right. This one might be amazing on the bread, much better. I, I really think so. I agree a hundred percent. This one, I don't know where. We're this use one it, right here, everybody. I definitely recommend you not giving that one a try. The cowboy one is not as Drink good. Drink the whiskey instead. <laughs> Drink the whiskey by itself. Do not try that one. That one's not that good. <laughs> but definitely go with the cowboy. Right. Pinterest does have something going with this one here, but for steaks, the cowboy takes over. That one might actually be good with seafood. Seafood. Oh, you're probably right, Mama. In the lobster or in uh, some fish. Yeah, I agree. This one is probably good for something. It's delicious, though. It and is it's good. It's really good. Don't it's get us really wrong. Good. Don't get us wrong. Yeah, Pinterest got something going on over there that is good, but there's no way. No. You no. can beat the cowboy. The but... cowboy is horses ahead. <laughs> the cowboy just took off like crazy. Oh, <laughs> 
Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a try to some of these butters. They are fantastic, except that one. Actually, put that one to the side. Don't try that one, huh, Mama? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.